All right, so this came from Tom Henderson, who's a rather credible leaker. Halo Battle Royale could have been a game changer, says former dev. So saying a former developer at Sword and Infinity has said that Halo's now canceled Battle Royale mode could have been a game change, game change for the franchise. Uh, the news comes from a via, via a LinkedIn profile spot on Xbox era of Mike Klopper, the studio design director at Raven Software, who was previously a game director at Search and Affinity. Saying, MP Halo Infinite, I led a large team of designers working on a canceled Battle Royale mode for Halo. I believe this product could have been a game changer for the franchise. We have loved playing it and working on it was a fantastic experience in spite of its cancellation. His LinkedIn profile reads like that's just straight up just and just like this is the first like actual time here in any form of confirmation that like the battle royale is actually happening. Like it's literally like the worst kept secret ever in gaming right now. Uh, but like we've never really heard like any official capacity that the battle royale was real, but we kind of like all knew it was. Um, and this is our first time like actually seeing like a person who literally worked on it saying that it's real, right? Uh, and on a LinkedIn profile, like this guy just zero Fs given. He's dropping some news bombs on us right here. Dropping this kind of news on a LinkedIn profile is like, I am not too concerned about job security for my next position at wherever I'm working at. Because people are like, um, because like I guarantee you, like if we're seeing this. Everyone else in the gaming dev industry has seen this, right? News gets around real fast. Trust me. I used to be a social media manager at GameStop talking with devs. They see it all. They really do. <laughs> they see here and see everything people say on social media. It's actually kind of crazy how in tune a lot of them are. They just don't respond because it's a toxic wasteland there on Twitter. Um, <laughs> but it's kind of crazy that like, he just responds like just says it out loud. Like down yeah, battle royale canceled battle royale mode, which again, we all knew it was a thing, but to see it like actually said publicly by someone who worked on it, it's just kind of wild. Uh, let's continue reading on here. Then it's anyone's guess why the battle royale mode for Halo Infinite was canceled, but rumors surrounding the project have been going on for the past couple of years. The battle royale's code name being Tatanka was unfortunate. And unfortunately, it's likely never going to see the light of day. I'm curious to see if we actually could read the entire thing of what the guy said on LinkedIn, because I think it'd be a really interesting thing. What's up, Chris? I see you over there on Twitch. Thanks for coming by. This is what he said on his profile right here. Straight up on the guy's profile. He's, he's like, I work for Call of Duty now, so I can do whatever. I, my job security is good. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, but like saying, yeah, Halo, Halo MP Infinite. I led a large team of designers working on a canceled Battle Royale mode. I believe this product could have been a game changer for the franchise. Uh, we loved playing it and working on it. Like he's saying that in the job description that he had there. This is like kind of a this is like kind of a bitter post of him being like, dog, I worked on this for so long and it just never saw the light of day. Like this is I'm kind of, there's a little bit of spice in this right here. And he's not just casually just throwing this out there. He's like, that's a little, it's, it comes off a little better. That's just crazy to think that he would just strip say that. Think about it like this though. Like, even if they could have released the Battle Royale, right? It would have definitely been a game changer. It would have been like completely changed the course of wherever Halo Infinite or the course of the Halo franchise was wherever it was going at the time. But the thing is though, that Infinite was kind of in a bad place, right? And it's never really been in much of a good place either, uh, mainly just because of how rough it's been with the slip space engine. Couldn't remember exactly if they said that they were going to switch like to Unreal for the Battle Royale, but then slip space for the main game. I don't know. Uh, I think there was like a lot of words and rumors and weird things happening over there. The Battle Royale would have been a game changer, absolutely. But the big thing is that like, it even if you did release the Battle Royale, if it was functioning decently enough, that it wouldn't have been able to keep up as a live service game because of how much how many issues were going on with halo infinite at the time right season two lasting 10 months like dog we can't be doing that you know 
That's a bit wild. <laughs> it kind of makes sense that they would just kind of hold off on it and just go like, yeah, you know what? I don't think we're going to move forward with this, especially when they realized like Halo Infinite really wasn't a game that they thought they needed to push forward with anymore. You know, when they made the decision to move off of seasons to operations and things like that, it just, it wouldn't have been a good time to release the Battle Royale. Would I have loved to see it? Absolutely. It would have been incredible to play a Halo Battle Royale. I think it's wild that Infinite launched without one, honestly. Knowing Infinite's de uh, development cycle, um, yeah, it wasn't good. Like, there was a lot of rough things happening over there. Even though it was being handled by certain Infinity, you know, to run the Battle Royale, couldn't, ha it just wouldn't have worked, you know? Slip Space Engine is just so difficult to work in. It's takes a million years to do anything and with the high turnover rate when it came to like the contractors you know we all know the the story behind it that like a battle royale probably was would have been awesome but they did but then it just wouldn't have functioned it wouldn't have been what players needed to be to be able to be a game changer you know it would have been something cool to have for halo as well because i just feel like halo just has desperately needed something new to do in the game like maintain the core gameplay elements right like like pretty much like what infinite did but we need something more than just like 4v4 Slayer and like 8v8 big team battle. You know, we need like a third big mode or, you know, or something different than Firefight as well. Or if you're gonna do Firefight, expand on it and make it just huge. You know, make it something fun. Uh, but your typical like four player co-op PVE stuff, it's, it's boring, you know? And that's coming from me as a lifelong Halo fan. I've been playing the Halo franchise since 2001, you know? I've seen things, <laughs> you know, but like, it's just, man, I just, I just want something new, man. That's one thing I really hope for that we're to do for the next one of the next Halo games that are coming out that we just, we get something new to do in Halo rather than just your typical Slayer. I mean, that's, that still needs to be there. Don't get me wrong. 4v4 Slayer definitely needs to be there. I just, I want something else to do in Halo, but still play like Halo, but just like some new crazy game mode with crazy mechanics that only devs can do, you know what I mean? We're past that point of being able to have like a Battle Royale be relevant even, I think even now for for Halo. It's 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 too late for a Battle Royale for this game that, I don't think anyone really wants to play one now, you know? We see like another Battle Royale, people just be like, uh, roll your eyes, same almost the same level as like a hero shooter, right? <laughs> kind of like with Concord, right? You know, when you like when you first heard about Concord, like, oh, that sounds kind of interesting. And then they told you it was a 5v5 uh, hero shooter, like, bro, no, that that ain't it, chief. It's a shame, man. Uh, what do you guys feel about? Do you want, did you want a battle royale in Halo? Is that something you guys would want to see? Or would you rather see something different?